It's got the texture of a tire. <laughs> like a matte tire. <laughs> I'm nervous. Have you ever wanted to know how they put a chicken in a bag? This is not a chicken, but it is chicken a la King, a very popular and hated MRE from the 1990s, also known as menu number nine. Let's see what's inside. Just like a modern US military MRE, I'm sure that this peelable seal is incredibly easy to open. Oh my God. Oh, it says do not eat. <laughs> modern MREs have a little saying right here that says peelable seal. This one does not, but let's see if we can peel it. By the powers of Zeus. Nope, not happening. Whew. But I did notice there's a little slit at the bottom. Let's rip it. America. Ooh. Oh man, this is not gonna be good. I can already tell. Inside the bag, you can see that it is a OD green style kind of packaging. Some things are hermetically sealed, some are not. There doesn't look like there's any leakage, which is always a plus. Let's get it out on the table and have a look. First up, a fruitcake. Next, we have some very, very, very hard cheese spread. Ooh. <laughs> Crackers. And it looks like they're, uh, they've retained their, their uh, vacuum seal. Oh, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> this is gonna be delicious. Then we have a little tiny spoon. I'm gonna add that to my, uh, my growing spoon collection back there, so. Let's see what that's about. This is the chicken a la king, and it looks like somebody's opened it. <laughs> Great. Uh, what else do we have in here? That looks like everything in the bag. I'm going to set that aside. And we got some cacao, cacao beverage powder, type 1 fortified, cocoa powder. And then we have a accessory packet D with coffee, cream substitute, sugar, catsup, C-A-T-S-U-P, catsup, salt, chewing gum, matches, and toilet paper. Let's open that up and see what's inside. Ooh, it smells like a, like a nursing home inside the bag, so I'm really excited to eat all these things. Uh, here we have the toilet paper. Why is it blue? What? It is a uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin, Straubel Paper Company, toilet paper, but it's blue. I wonder if that transfers. Interesting. Uh, we have... What? This is dehydrated catsup. So we're going to have to uh, rehydrate this to <laughs> use it. We have coffee instant type one, a cream substitute dry non-dairy, some Beechy's peppermint gum, brought to you by Beechy's, where we put the beach in your mouth because our gum is that dry. We'll find out though. We're gonna try it. I do like the little, little box though. It's pretty cool. Uh, sugar to go with our coffee, iodized salt, and matches. Do you think they still work? Let's try it. Oh. Nice. All right, that's everything in the accessory pack. So I'm gonna put all the trash to the side here. And I think, <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and mix up our cacao beverage powder. And we're gonna use our trusty canteen cup for this one because there is no beverage bag, there is no heater. You just get your main meal a little dessert, which is the fruit cake, cheese spread with crackers, a drink, two drinks, and that's it, some gum. So, should be pretty straightforward here. Oh, spilled, okay. I don't know how this would be bad. This is uh, from 1990, it smells just like hot chocolate. Pour it in there, I'm gonna mix it up cold because again, no heater. Uh, is this going to be like Swiss Miss? I don't know. There are no little marshmallows in it, but 
I'll give it a shot. I'm gonna use this tiny little spoon, which has a point on the end. It's kind of rigid. Maybe this could be used as a bayonet or something. America, America, America. It's kind of sharp. Oh, I thought it had an NSN on it. That'd be cool. Let's mix it. It's not mixing. <laughs> Maybe it needs to sit for a minute. It smells very rich in chocolate. Yeah, not mixing. Let's uh, let's set that there. Um, let's have an appetizer first of the cheese spread. Now this cheese spread is a little bit bigger than the uh, <laughs> the ones that come in modern MREs, and it's a lot thicker. And that could be due to age, or maybe uh, what's in it. What is in it? Cheddar cheese, butter fat. It's like Butterworth. Water, disodium phosphate, salt, locust bean gum, monoglyceride, phosphoric acid, and artificial coloring. It's made in California. I'm sure it's good. They're known for some stuff there, I think. I just got a whiff of the cheese somehow. It's not good. <laughs> so I'm gonna open this up and then I'll open my crackers and I will sample the crackers without the cheese. It just spewed out onto my hand. Ugh, it smells so bad. Ooh, I don't know. This smells like toe jam. And if you don't know what toe jam smells like, then you probably clean your nails a lot or you need to clean them more frequently. Oh my gosh. It's like, uh, it's got a rancid cheese smell to it. Will I throw up? It's possible. Ooh. Ooh. That's not good. Oh, gosh. I don't know if I can eat this. Ugh. L let me show you. Do you see how it holds its shape? <laughs> Let's see how long we can get it. This isn't good. Oh my gosh. Look at that. What do I do with it now? <laughs> I'm gonna set it over here on my tissue. Oh, it just came off. It's like clay. It's like a, ugh. Super smelly clay. It smells of like a very, very sharp, extra sharp cheddar that's spoiled. Oh, oh, the whole room smells like it now. Glad these matches work. This will save me. Oh, man. I've smelled some bad stuff doing these MRE reviews, but that, that takes the cake. Worst smelling thing yet. <laughs> Let's open the crackers up. Whew. Oh. Now the cracker, <laughs> the crackers were also uh, not sealed all the way and they had a little air leak in them. So that's a great sign. <laughs> they are intact, however. Uh, they have a nice brown uh, baked edge. They don't have a good smell. I'm gonna try a little let's see if they if there's a crunch oh no Oh, God. Ugh. That was terrible. 
Ugh. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt the cheese. Nope, nope. Ah. Ooh, this stuff is bad. Ooh. Oh, this is this is <laughs> not good. All right, let's open this up. The chicken a la king. I'm super excited to try this. Not nah, if this smells bad. I don't know if I can do it. Oh, chicken a la king. It kind of feels like the consistency of uh, if you were to put vomit in a bag uh, after eating a large chicken pot pie. <laughs> Gosh, that stuff. Ooh. All right, let's open it up. Let's just get this over with. Oh. Interesting, these bags have like a, oh my God, that looks bad. They have like a uh, foil coating and then like kind of a wax inside. I'm gonna smell this. Oh. <coughs> oh. Let me show you what it looks like. Oh. I'm not eating that, ain't happening. Nope, I can't do it. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Let me just... Oh. All right, so with that being said, this stuff is super old, so of course it's going to be probably expired. The average shelf life of an MRU is about five years, plus if you store it in the right conditions. At least that's the modern day ones. These probably didn't have as much of a shelf life to them. And super old. 1990 is when these came out and when they... Oh, we're somewhat popular. I've heard that people did really like these MREs, so it's kind of not fair to, you know, have such a negative opinion about it, but this smells awful. Like, this is just not, not edible, and I don't really want to be peeing out of both ends, if you know what I'm saying. So, let's move on to uh, the fruitcake. Let's see what it looks like. I don't think there are any modern MREs that I've had that have a, a fruitcake in them. Oh, I see the problem here. It appears as we've leaked some uh, fruitcake liquid out of this one, and that's why it's stuck in the box. So let's see. Oh! Or maybe that's like a glue. Let's, let's hope it's a glue. Weird, it's a fruitcake, but it doesn't feel like it's very moist. Almost feels like a Nutrigain bar on the inside. I just really hope this one doesn't smell as bad as the others. Let's open it. Okay. Interesting. This smells terrible, but it doesn't smell as bad as all the other ones. It also looks terrible. Look at this. Oh, kind of smells like a, a date in like a mushroom mixed. And it's just like, I don't even know. Let me take it. Let me take it out of the bag so that you can see it. And I might try this one, because it doesn't look that bad. What are those things in there? Like, what are those? Are those the fruits? It touched my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna try a little bite. All right, that's halfway edible. Would I want to eat any more than that? No, but in its heyday, it might've been good. It's very moist still. Yeah. All right. Uh, we have our hot cocoa. This is probably the, the most edible thing that's in here. Oh, man. Worst one I've had yet, by far. I'm just going to sample a little bit on the spoon there. Let's see. Here we go. Best thing I've had in this MRE is the hot chocolate. Probably because it is Swiss Miss and it tastes just like it. Um, some interesting things about it, though, are the spoon. I was really surprised that the spoon is this, uh, this shorter variety right here and not the, the typical brown one. Um, 
the instant catsup. Let's see what that looks like because we didn't do that yet. See how bad it smells. Um, ooh, it smells. <laughs> yeah, it smells like uh, Worcestershire shio sauce and salt and I don't even know. Do I do it? Should I do it? I mean, it tastes like ketchup. It tastes just like ketchup. I'm gonna save that. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, so seven grams dehydrated and you reconstitute it in the envelope by adding two teaspoonfuls of waters. Oh. After trying uh, the MRE last week, the uh, pizza pasta, the Canadian pizza pasta, that thing was fantastic. This one, it's tough. It's tough to uh, go from that to a vintage variant. Ooh, it suddenly became thick, the liquid. I think I measured incorrectly. Uh, oh man, look at that. Look at how thick it is now. It's like a very thick liquid. It's almost like a pancake syrup. <laughs> All right. If you're watching this video and you had this MRE back in the day in the 1990s or Desert Storm or any of those times or stateside, let me know what you thought about it, what you would have traded this for, um, and what your favorite thing was out of this. The gum looks all right. Beaches. Let's try it. This gum is better than the, uh, the modern day little alleged diuretic gum that comes in the MREs now. Beachies, much better. Perfect. It is much better. That's really good. Short and sweet.